Welcome to Nicholas 11x12, I guess it's time for another high-end CPU cooler review. This time around I'm looking at the Scythe Firma Air Cooler, a pretty big one in the high-end segment. The Firma currently comes in at a price of around 48 US dollars. That price for that size seems unbelievable on first sight, but what's behind this cooler? Why is it so affordable compared to its size? Does it even perform or does it just take up space? We'll find out. Thanks a lot to Scythe for sending me the CPU cooler, therefore making this video possible. Inside a box is the bare Fuma Twin Tower, two 120mm fans, of course the backplate bracket screws and so on, all out of metal by the way, then also included a nylon sleeved Y cable. To attach the fans, Scythe doesn't just include four fan clips but six, just in case you'd wish to attach one more fan to the heatsink. Very kind also a small tube of thermal paste, and of course the installation guide. The bare heatsink already looks promising to me, and I can't wait to see how it performs with the fans attached. The build quality as you'd expect from Scythe is very good even at lower price points. But to get a better impression of this Fuma cooler, I'll go ahead and attach the two fans. And wow does the Fuma look beefy. When it comes to Scythe CPU coolers, the design is usually kept very simple and minimalistic. Scythe obviously focuses more on the raw cooling performance than anything else. But aesthetically I myself happen to like the way it looks, if that matters of course. Nothing out of the ordinary here. The fans easily attach to the heatsink and if you so desire, you could also attach a third one. Speaking of fans, these are the popular Scythe Slipstream 120 PWM 120mm fans. These spin at about 300 to 1400 RPM, so we could expect fairly quiet operation. Noise level 13 to 28 decibels and a 5.6 to 79 CFM airflow. Sure, these aren't the best fans out there when it comes to build quality, but they're definitely fine. Oh, and the cables are nicely nylon sleeved. The dimensions of this firma including the fans are the following, 137 by 149 by 130 millimeters. So that's not the tallest air cooler out there, but still make sure it can fit into your case before purchasing it. The cooler weighs about 920 grams, and as you'd probably expect, a nickel plated copper base and a total of 6 heat pipes. Scythe is well known for their wide range of socket compatibility. No exception with this FUMA. Intel LJ 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, 1366, 775, 2011, AMD's AM3 Plus, AM3, AM2 Plus, AM2, FM2 Plus, FM2, and FM1 are supported. For the test I'm installing the firma onto my test bench by Cooler Master. I gotta say the cooler looks glorious once installed and the installation went smoothly and without any complications. Something I like and you sure do too. However, there arises the oh so famous issue that is RAM interference. I've seen several coolers of similar size that feature bent heat pipes to basically make room for the memory. That's not the case here and high profile RAM therefore really doesn't go well with this firma. What you could do is install the one fan a bit higher above the heat spreaders of the RAM like that or just put the fan on the other tower. Note that both methods would lead to less cooling performance, I've tested both. But you could avoid it all if you just go for low profile RAM. Memory interference by large air coolers really is no rarity and for such systems I'd simply recommend avoiding high profile RAM altogether. But what kind of performance can we expect from a $48 cooler with that size? Let's find out I guess. Well honestly I'm a bit disappointed as it didn't perform all that good, at least not as good what I would have hoped for. Still in general the cooling performance is good, no denying here, but cheaper coolers such as the Cryorg H7 and Scythe's own Ninja 4 perform just as good and don't lead to as many interference issues with high profile RAM. In fact Cryorg's H7 has no problem at all with that. But what makes this firma special I guess is the option to attach a third fan to get cheap but really good performance 
performance out of this cooler. 3 fans aren't supported by most coolers in that price range, so that's a benefit of the Fuma. The fans aren't loud, but definitely are hearable on full load. When it comes down to looks, I like the way the cooler looks, performance is good too. The price performance ratio is not the best, I've definitely come across better coolers even by Scythe, although that doesn't mean it's bad. But again the Firma has a benefit over most other cheap ones, although to fully make use of that benefit, Scythe should have included a third fan, it would have made this review a bit more positive. While the CPU cooler did not manage to impress me all that much, it's a pretty solid one nonetheless. I can recommend the Scythe from a CPU cooler, but it of course won't score all that high when it comes to my awards. Still, because of that benefit I was talking about, I'm giving it my bronze award. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.